Hello, this is Taken Fusey, and welcome back to another video. In today's one, we're going to be breaking down the Timothy RW ongoing series, issue 132. So, this is going to be another issue that is going to be set during the Armageddon oh Games event, Soul Story Arc, near the beginning. And this issue is supposed to come out in August the 10th, hopefully, but who knows. They'll probably change around, probably come out near the end of August or sometime during September. So that's roughly when it should be coming around. And yeah, so like I already mentioned, this issue is going to be uh, take place during the Armageddon uh, issue or event. And it's going to be the second issue ish, I want to say, because it's all part to say what is really classified as in the Armageddon games. But like in this whole thing that's leading up to it, uh, this is uh, part two of it, and it's quite interesting. Now, in the last uh, breakdown, we got to, uh, and, and it was revealed that basically the tools can be working with Shredder in Northampton. They could be learning and doing some dark arts, training, and stuff like that. So this issue, from looks at from the description, is going to be expanding on that, and hopefully, going to be moving the storyline a lot, uh, a lot more forward. But yeah, without further ado, let's actually read the description for this issue. So the description goes as follows. As the team and T uh, continue to train under the Traluge, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that, uh, that word wrong, so sorry, of the Traluge in Northampton, the techniques um, they are learning take a bizarrely arcane turn. With Michelangelo, Dontello, Raphael, Leonardo and Jenica learning how to master and control the dark uh, ninja arts, or will, they be, or, will, or will they be consumed by them? One thing's certain, if um, they are to have any chance at success, they will need to seek out a light from the past to help them guide their way. Okay, so yeah, that was a pretty interesting description. And while like most of these descriptions for most of the upcoming stuff, where it's not really giving way too much in terms of the story, and it's mostly just going over the same stuff which has been already been given out before but just worded differently, this one does go in a different direction and actually make it sound a lot more interesting in terms of what could potentially be happening in this issue. So like the first one is basically like Shredder's gonna be training the turtles, learn more about ninja arts, learn dark arts. And I do find this could be like a really interesting topic which they could uh, really go into. And especially like showing off and showing like Shredder uh, maybe hasn't really changed even though we know he has and stuff like that. So I've got to think there could be like really fun elements there in terms of story, in terms of what they could do with Shredder and the turtles with like maybe not trusting each other or maybe not and stuff like that. So I've got to think that could be like a really fun interesting little story point to really delve into. And yeah. Now the second one is going into finding out the like a, a, a guide from like from the past, which we which undercover it all gives away in terms of who it's going to be. So here's the cover, the main cover from Pablo Tonki, and it's quite interesting. And it's once again a, a homage to the 1990 movie Splinter and the Campfire. But I must say here, um, Splinter's look is not really. Good, but maybe it might change uh, during the issue. But like, just by looking at this image here, it's just not really giving me too much hope. But I'm still looking forward to seeing this interaction with the Tolts if it is actually Mark Spencer talking to them because this could like bring up like a really emotional spot in the issue where the Tolts get to talk to uh, talk with, with him and then, like, I don't know, I feel like this could be like a really fun party issue. And it's like a way for the characters to re like have a proper goodbye, and then maybe moving the characters and story along in a way that it was originally intended. So like how like after issue 100, everything went a bit wrong and so it was a bit depressed, and then sort of led to like a few iffy issues. So maybe this could be the uprise for the turtles and the, and the get all the mojo back and stuff like that. So that's where I'm sort of seeing where this potential storyline could go after the um, Armageddon games. So I feel like uh, we should probably talk about the covers next. So like already, or, or, like already seen, we got cover A by Pablo Stunky, which just tells him around the campfire and with Splinter coming up the thing. I feel like this is a really good and interesting and nice cover for what could potentially be happening in the issue. If all that I've sort of said is true, then this could be a really interesting and good issue and especially with the cover looking so nice and potentially actually having a story cover it's just going to look so amazing and I cannot say much more than that however once again Spencer does look a bit iffy to say the very least but like I mean oh, probably Tonky's his artwork 
it's one of the ones that like, you have to sort of get used to, and after a while you, you do start to grow to like it. So maybe my opinions might change by the time I actually do get around to reading it and actually see what, or like, because I, I don't think I've ever seen him draw uh, my spins before. So like, if this is the first time, then yeah, sure, it's cool and all. But like, I feel like maybe after like reading it, um, then like seeing how he draws him, maybe my opinion might change just because like issue 25, it was all the one where I'd be like, uh, in his artwork. But then like issue 26, 27, that's all where it like really grew on me in terms of like how it was amazing his artwork is. So yeah, I don't have any doubts there, but like, I'm still a bit hesitant to see what Spencer looks like. Now we do get a uh, variant cover. We haven't got the cover B by Kevin Eastman just yet. That'll probably come down nearer the road, nearer the time of release. Now the other cover is drawn by Roughly Letty. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that name wrong. And if you are watching it, I doubt you are. But if you are, then I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong. But yeah. Now this is a 110 variant, which I don't feel like I need to explain anymore now what they are. But yeah, these um, this cover looks pretty interesting. It was just Splinter and Shredder in the background with the toes in at the bottom. And I must admit, this art style, especially like the turtles, give me like vibes of like 2012 turtles. I'm not exactly too sure why it gives me vibes of those particular version of turtles, but for some reason it does. And yeah, like. It's not really giving way too much in terms of that story, like most of the 110 variants don't, but like, this is actually like a really nice cover. I, it's, like the colours, the art style, it looks really nice. No one that's all persuading me to go get it, like other uh, covers, but like this is a really nice and interesting cover. And I feel like I would like to see more of this uh, artist in the future, whether that be more covers or actual like, a little story or an even a full on issue. Uh, whatever it may be, I would actually like to see this artist come back because uh, I feel like their art style could be really nice and like a really good change in pace in terms of like, what we've had in the past. So I would definitely like to see what they could have to offer. I want to know what you think about this issue in the comments below. What do you think is going to happen? What do you don't think is going to happen? Do you like the covers? Do you not? Do you think the rat is a bit, um, a little bit iffy in terms of some places? Do you like the 110 variant cover? Me personally, like, you've already got my opinions, but I want to just quickly do like a quick of what or overview of all this quickly. Where like the description, I feel like there needs to be more. Um, like most of the descriptions lately, they've just been so so short. We need a bit a bigger change in terms of what we could be getting, and I want to know more about this uh story. I don't want just like the same uh, description like repeated over and over again for every single issue. I wish they would change it up a little bit. The art style is probably going to be good, um, yeah, the covers look good and nice, the rat, <laughs> um, yeah, I can't say much more than that, but, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today, guys, if you do love this one, please share, like, subscribe, and all that stuff, goodbye, yo, bye,